Good afternoon, teachers. Uh, I'm Moin Kaka, representing Unizet Airlines, and I'm with my colleagues and introducing them. Uh, she's called Piasan, and she's our uh, team leader. So she, she also looks after HR and uh, other uh, overall operations. Then, COVID, COVID is our financial manager, and Manita, she's our operation manager, and I, I'm looking after marketing. So. Uh, talking, talking a bit about our company's history. Uh, of previously, we were named as Universal Airlines. Then, an, after a special in incident, uh, we renamed it to we, re re we renamed it to uh, Unijet Airlines. Uh, that incident we'll be talking about in details later. And after the takeover of the company, uh, the focus uh, the focus was on, only in satisfying the uh, consum consumers and. Uh, consumers needs and providing quality services uh, as you can see we have company vision and uh, mission uh, both after f this vision and mission both both are about the customers and uh, quality service that we provide after following this mission and visions we never deviated from it and uh, uh, even when the when there was a uh, loss uh, we didn't we didn't compromise in our quality and quality and reliability uh, services These were the prim uh, primary and supporting activities we identified and we focused on these areas and by, uh, by focusing on these areas we were able to create a value and then we also were able to derive value from it and we were able to focus on these activities as these were important for um, smooth running of the company as well. And this is the industry analysis that we conducted. Uh, in industry two, there are seven major uh, competitor, competitors. Out of those, Phoenix Airlines and Air Air Juice are Air Juice are operating as discount airlines. That is, they they offer low fares, low fares. As uh, and uh, there were four others, four other uh, airlines among with us. So, so it, it was a bit competitive, and uh, therefore it was necessary to uh, to watch them more closely as op as we were operating in the same industry. Uh, moving on, moving on to organizational capabilities, uh, we focus into two factors: that is, marketing capabilities and uh, operation capabilities. Uh, in marketing capabilities, our promotion budget was fifty-five thousand dollars, and the advertising budget of fifty-five thousand dollars was highest in the industry. We also uh, we also uh, spend a large amount of a large amount of budget in uh, in this uh, uh, in this in marketing research and now talking about uh, under operational capability uh, we we made sure to we made sure to increase the quality and uh, training budget at the end of at the end of quarter eight uh, we we had invested seventy five thousand dollars and uh, we also increased compensation policy to three percent three percent. And maintain the level three maintenance throughout the period. Next is next is performance analysis. Uh, as I was in charge of marketing, upon takeover of the in, in company, uh, we identified weakness in terms of promotion and promotion and uh, advertising business. Therefore, we felt it was of great importance to increase uh, marketing expenses. As you can see, uh, our promotion budget from quarter one. In quarter one was twenty eight hundred dollars, and in quarter quarter twenty eight it increased to fifty five thousand dollars. And uh, again, our advertising budget was of twenty seven fifty dollars, and it increased to uh, fifty five thousand uh, dollars. Moving on, uh, talking about fares, our strategic plan was to increase uh, fare per mile from thirty six C to fifty C. That is, as uh, we move to luxury luxury sector. Uh, However, due to change in change in initial strategy and as to remain uh, as normal airline airline, we fixed our airline fare to 37C <coughs> to last quarter uh, as not to intimidate the uh, customers because what we felt was like uh, if if we increase the rate, then we might lose our customers. So and uh, as all the normal operation operating airlines were 
uh, were offering fair, fair prices higher than us, we, s we decided to uh, offer uh, a bit low, low rate compared to the other ones just to attract the customers. So now, one double. Initially, our company owned the three beach, uh, beach craft, which is clearly on the tip for several units. And we, op after that, it was not as as it was not suitable for the longer routes, and it was inadequate in terms of size range. So, uh, by the each and every quarter, we upgraded our fleet, upgraded our our fleet, and this results as uh, by the end of eight quarter, we have uh, eight. Aircraft, and later, I mean, uh, initially we lack working capital. We lack working capital, so we focused on the leasing strategy. And later on, we also sold two beach beach crafts and lease uh, higher rates in the in the in the Brazil, uh, which help us to expand into a new route and to gain more profitability. And uh, leasing strategy also help in combat the fluctuate, fluctuating demand of the market. In terms of maintenance, we invest a huge amount of proportion in maintaining, uh, maintaining secure and uh, reliable operation. As you can see in the graph, we have constantly achieved uh, higher reliability, except except in quarter seven, and eventually we uh, increase in, by the end of quarter eight, we increase to two percent, which is ninety nine in terms of uh, fuel, uh, we continue to purchase 50 percent on open market and 50 percent on contract. Uh, as the fuel, as uh, in quarter five, the fuel spot price increased, so we immediately we shifted uh, on buying on contract, and which was more profitable for us for uh, to operate stability expenses as well as for cost saving savings. In terms of route, uh, initially we had six, six routes, but we uh, it was not enough to gain more profitability in the market. Uh, market, so we focus uh, we focus to solve in several routes uh, in order to capitalize uh, and as well as to uh, increase the competitive advantage. So by the end of eight quarter, we uh, served 11, 11 routes, sorry, twelve routes. And we also uh, use the market profitability to calculate the break-even point. So if the break, if we are not breaking even, we immediately uh, left and entered the new market. We also use sales report uh, for to regarding making decisions, and we provide four, four flights. We provide four flights lesser, which is less than flight three. Uh, as we found that uh, serving flights in four was more profitable than three. And, uh, and we, in the passenger load factor, we have been able to maintain the consistency regarding our passenger load factor, and we even uh, have able has been able to maintain the operational e efficiency. And in service quality, we have invested uh, in each and every quarter. We have invested high amount in uh, quality and training budgets, and we focused on total quality management. And as you can see, we uh, as you can see in the graph, we have achieved. Uh, of uh, quite higher quality rating, and which is which is also among the highest in the in terms of industry. Now I like to call this uh, talking about human resources. Initially, when we took over the company, we had a total of 81 employees, but this was not enough to run such a big company. So we started hiring more salespersons. Uh, we started hiring more salespersons, and by end of quarter eight. We had a total of 248 employees and we had 5 salespersons. However, as the number of employees increased, they also started demanding more compensation plans. Initially, the com uh, we were just paying prevailing wages, so this was not enough and therefore we had a high employee resignation of 8 employees and therefore we started increasing and by quarter 2, we increased to 2.75% and by the end of quarter 8, we were offering the 3% of our prevailing wages resulted in a lower employee turnover with just five employees resigning and we continue to increase this training budget in the future as well. Over last eight quarters, we have, we have been doing financially good except for the fourth quarter where we had to bear loss. We have seen our revenue and profits, profit rise steadily. 
till the eighth quarter. At the end of eighth quarter, our cumulative net income was $75,000 and stock price was $36.51. We, we had seven out of eight profitable quarters with highest income for a company and second highest in the industry in quarter six. As we can see in the dashboard, our net profit was $500,040 and stock price was $45.69 and other increasing figures. As you can see from the graph, our income, uh, that is gross revenue and net revenue has increased steadily over the eighth quarter. And that has helped to achieve rising quarterly profit. As a result, we find our company as a financially good position. Ratio analysis is effective and powerful, powerful tool to make standard of comparison for a company. As we can see here, our current ratio is uh, higher than industrial ratio, which indicates how we can meet our certain financial obligation and we can easily make current debt payment. We have good return on equity compared to industrial return on equity, which is good for our shareholder as we be pay them a good interest on their investment for our company. Return, return on assets shows a similar indicator where we have been efficient in earning a return for our investment in equity, in assets. Debt to equity is lower than industrial average debt to equity, which is actually better since we don't have to pay much to equity, we can reserve that from that. Out of three financial analysis, uh, out of three analysis, financial analysis uh, is, has been useful tool for us to calculate our our cash sources, as we can see here, this is a sample of financial uh, analysis which helped us to estimate the financial need for the next quarter. By reviewing this financial analysis, we make our financial decision every, every quarter. And in almost every quarter, we, uh, we have exceed our project ending cash not to be over 200,000 or below 50. So, so far we've already talked about the profitable quarters. Uh, this is quarter four was the quarter where we faced losses and our stock prices fell down as we had a negative net profit as well as a decrease in stock prices to $18.79. This was mainly due to three reasons. First of all, the demand index for that quarter was very low compared to other quarters. The demand index was just 99. And moreover, it was a winter quarter, so it wrecked her work in our airline schedules. And despite it being a winter quarter and demand being low, we made a mistake of entering into new routes, and this ultimately hampered our profits. And lastly, uh, because of the because of entering into new routes, despite low demand, our passenger load decreased to 51.3 percent on an average, whereas in other quarters we have been able to achieve a passenger load of 68 percent. Similarly, uh, we would like to focus on three special incidents that affected our company positively. The first was in quarter five. In quarter five, we had uh, an option of diversifying our business, and we accepted this offer because we thought it was important to diversify as this would reduce our risk and as well as maximize our returns. Similarly, in quarter six, we had the option of dual designating where we accepted the offer and whereby we had to change our name as well to Unijet Airlines. And therefore, by accepting these offers, we, noted, we also noticed a difference in our other income where initially we had zero dollars, but it increased from 46 to 13,300 too. And by 48, we were earning 22,010 dollars per quarter. And similarly, in quarter three, we had the option of uh, choosing our channels of distribution. We, uh, we went with maintaining our bank balance in phone banks and travel agents. And as we can see, although our commissions were high, but by the end of quarter eight, our gross revenue was very high compared, compared to the previous quarters as well. Technical skills we needed to run the business. Now I would like to talk about our teamwork. 
Uh, as a, since I was assigned as a team leader, I was responsible for the overall activities of the business. I also made sure that decisions were entered correctly and they were locked in every week. And uh, acting as a team member, I assigned each team member a particular position where I felt they were strong at and so that they could focus on those areas and make decisions accordingly. Um, and on the marketing, uh, uh, Mike was assigned as a marketing manager where he looked after the promotion and marketing budgets. He also, were, he also took care of the fair prices and he made sure that we are value proposition remained consistent with our strategy as well. And under operations, Manita was assigned as operation manager where she was responsible for maintaining the real decisions and markets to serve. This was important because real decisions affected our profits and flying the right aircraft in the right route was important as it affected our passenger load effectively. Uh, we met every Wednesday uh, to discuss about the uh, decisions we would make on a particular week. Uh, previous results were also discussed and we analyzed and we looked at areas where we could improve. We also discussed the financial aspects and special incidents as well. And as a team, uh, we all worked effectively and contributed equally from our part uh, in making this airline a success. And for future direction, we would still like to continue on increasing our quality and training budget. And moreover, our stock prices fell in the last quarter, so uh, in the future we would like to buy back our stocks so that our earnings per share would increase. And uh, moreover, we would like to follow, we would like to purchase smaller aircrafts rather than these, and so that we could increase our asset holdings. And lastly, we would like to compensate our employees in the future with higher percentages.